our stop, Ludimer Misto. There's our train. Middle of the Slovenian countryside. This is your wine country uh, little villa. That's Croatia over there. We're far, far east. Look at this little cabin. Wine on either side. That'll be good food out here. We're in the far eastern reaches of Slovenia, outside of Lutomur. The train ride took us out here. Let's go find some food. Here's where the guest house is. Our host said three generations, Grandpa. Up here, it's like Wrigley Field. So we'll walk down some country roads and try and find a restaurant or a gotzlina, which means basically a country inn. That's where all the good food is. We'll have to walk around and try to find one. These are the famous wild dandelions. Spring grasses that people hunt for all through here. It's real. Wild Slovenian ducks. Wow. Just walking through rural wine country. Trying not to get murked by a dog. Is this a Slovenian make? What is this? I don't know what type of car this is. Market where they're cooking all sorts of local food, local wine, of course, ow, some bread. The wild snails are what do they call them in Slovenia? Wild snails. Uh, oh, okay. And this is like a borak? Uh, goulash. Goulash. Can From I see it? Oh, amazing. Oh, from deer. Wild deer. Oh, that looks good. Wow. Those are wild snails. It's incredible. I didn't know they eat snails in Slovenia, but... And that local deer goulash, because we're obviously on the Hungarian border, so... A couple of local dishes there. Slovenian name of this one? Okay. Okay, and I get a mushroom soup. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay, local forage mushroom soup. Good. What was this called? This mushroom soup is served with this sort of flatbread grape type thing. I have no idea what it is, but it's delicious. It's just like a tortilla chip. But grandma here. Wow. What is the name? Raskoski Blinet. Raskoskutsina. Yeah. Blinet. That's them making the cracker. So it's the real deal. It's for you. Really? We go. What is it called? What is this called again? Uh, Strutle. Uh, Strutle. Oh, okay, here. I try it. Strutle is uh, fresh here, uh, fresh... Uh, cheese. Cheese, yeah? Yeah. Strutle at all. Let me try. It's strudel, okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. Good. They go down the line and then they cook everything on this wood burning stove. It's sort of like this cracker flatbread. The grandma line. Interesting. 
I'm li I'm just uh, watching. <laughs> kind of bubbles up. Wow. It's cool. Not bad. Looks like Slovenia got the good wine country. Perfect spring evening. So that was a fun day of exploring. Came across that random little local market. We'll see what we find tomorrow. What is this one? It's like a fat. Mm. This is eggs. It looks like a fat. Head cheese. Who made Slovenian apple juice from our B and B? Better than Washington State. What can you call this? Sunka. 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 I remember this. So Vinar Stivo Kovacic. Beautiful. And that's the wine up there? Yes, one is here, one is in Slavniak, and one is in uh, Nunska Graba. Bah! That's the wine that we had, Sipon. Look at all this wine. Ooh, the Magnum. Jerusalem Rosé, obviously. Why come to wine country anywhere if you don't really drink wine? Well, because usually where people grow wine, people care about food, and there's always good food in wine country. Because there's usually artisans or people that care about th how things are made, how things are, how, how the ham is cured, how the, you know, kohlrabi is grown. It just means that uh, people really care, and where people really care, there's good food. Local pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seed oil. Wow, oh, that's so good. Pumpkin seed oil works really well. I think that was an all time simple dessert. Fresh roasted pumpkin seeds and local pumpkin seed oil. That's a Styrian specialty, but that was delicious with vanilla ice cream. Because the pumpkin seed is like this roasted natural earthy vibe and then you've got the rich creamy cold ice cream and then you've got the fatty oil it's delicious you probably do that with like uh sesame seeds and olive oil you could probably do that with hazelnut oil and another crunchy seed but that was a good tip look at this beautiful little hill we're on you can see all of slovenia and probably to croatia great place Something you don't see every day, a clear stream running through a city. We are in Petuja, Slovenia. The oldest town, one of the oldest towns in Slovenia. Beautiful stream heading through the city and we're gonna go check out Old Town.
the Drava River running through. I guess it connects to the Sava. But there's our town. Okay, we're gonna go for a little castle tour, which we rarely do, but one in Slovenia. Look at that view. Let's go in this castle. Maybe there'll be some medieval food. Old. Look at all these little red roofs down here. So well preserved. The church steeple. And the, I think this is where the Drava runs into the next connecting. I think it's the Sava. And that will go through Hungary. Ooh, look at that beautiful old church. And in the distance, somewhere down there, you see the golden arches. McDonald's everywhere. <laughs> Hand torn noodles. Yeah, like little. These are little. Uh, these are like the little hand flour noodles. So these are some hand torn noodles. Roast chicken. Veggies, potatoes. That was perfect. Roast chicken with uh, milne, which is hand cut little noodles that they do here. It's kind of like torn up little sheets of pasta and roast potatoes and an incredible soup that had uh, torn up the noodles, I think, again, and asparagus, local veg. Good home cooking at the Agro Turismo. Another nice night. Tomorrow, maybe Ljubljana.